Welcome into sports, everybody. I'm Jenny Dunn. Black Mountain native Brad Doherty already had an impressive resume. Five-time NBA All-Star, ESPN analyst, NASCAR team owner. Now he can add Sprint Cup race winner to his list of accomplishments because yesterday at Watkins Glen, JTG Doherty driver AJ Allmendinger won the Cheez-It 355 at the Glen. It was also Allmendinger's first ever cup win in 213 Sprint Cup starts. He swapped some serious paint with Marcos Ambrose en route to taking the checkered flag. The win will likely give Allmendinger a spot in the chase as it vaulted him up to 12th in the point standings. Now I spoke with Doherty just a short time ago. He's obviously thrilled. I love his real time reaction right there as Allmendinger takes the checkered flag. Doherty and crew will head to Michigan this weekend. Well, obviously, Doherty's and Allmendinger's win was understandably overshadowed by the tragic death of Kevin Ward Jr. the night before. The car driven by Tony Stewart struck and killed the 20-year-old after the two drivers were involved in a wreck and Ward walked down the track to confront Stewart. Stewart did not race yesterday as he pulled out of a dirt track event this Saturday. Stewart has not decided whether or not he will run in the cup race this weekend in Michigan. While the sheriff in charge of the investigation said yesterday there are no facts to support a criminal charge, today he said, quote, all options remain open. The autopsy report just released states cause of death as blunt force trauma. As I mentioned, I spoke with Brad Doherty on the phone this afternoon. He said ESPN has asked him not to comment, but he did say obviously it is such a tragedy. We all feel like we're all family because we traveled 36 weeks out of the year. It seems like 100 years together. So uh, uh, our, our hearts go out to Tony, but specifically out to the family. Our thoughts and prayers are, are with everybody involved in the situation and, and uh, you know, in regard to the situation, just going to kind of let it run its course and, and uh, you know, see, see how it all shakes out. Awful circumstances there. Well, high school soccer getting ready to kick off their season. Today getting a big warm up over at Reynolds High. It was the boys soccer jamboree scrimmages. 25 teams taking part. Play was supposed to happen Saturday, but the rain pushed things to today. It's a chance for refs and players to get some practice in and for coaches to see their teams in a game situation before the season gets going this month. Well, I mean, it's a good opportunity for coaches to uh, make their final roster cuts, maybe get their team on the field and, you know, see what's working, see what's not working before uh, the, the regular season starts next week, Monday. Well, before the age of 26, Roy McElroy claimed his fourth major title at the PGA Championship. McElroy rallied from three strokes down on the back nine to best Phil Mickelson by one stroke. It was McElroy's third straight win, second major win of the season. As for Tiger Woods, he did not make the cut this weekend as he continues to struggle with that back injury. But missing the cut does not mean he will definitely miss out on a spot on the U.S. Ryder Cup team. I don't make this comment loosely. You know, he is Tiger Woods, and he, he brings a lot to the team. If he, is abil if he has the ability to play and he's healthy, he brings a lot to the team. And I, I would be a fool not to consider him. He is Tiger Woods, so, you know, he's you never know. And like you said, if he's doing well, he brings a lot. Exactly. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining us. For more news, flip on over to News 13 on My 4. And then join us again at 11 here on 13 WLOX.